Good morning everybody, it's Di. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my studio. Today I am working on tags. Now I have been a very, very busy girl and I have been doing uh, many, many journals. Um, a fold, fold, fold journals actually. And I thought I would just um, continue embellishing and bring you along for the ride. They are so much fun. This one is the envelope journal that we made, or that I made. I'm not sure who I copied now. G. Kerr, maybe? But it's the best, it's the best envelope journal ever. Just, it's wonderful. And you can put all your A4 papers in it. And I really enjoyed that. And I just love these file folders. That's an envelope stuck onto the side, just joined it on here. And of course, you've got your file folder. You've just got manila folder, manila folder, cut down to whatever size you want. I like using my A4 papers because it's a quicker process folding it in half, stitching it down the side, and you've got the front pocket and the back pocket, which is really good. And by adding, uh, by adding the uh, envelope, and you wouldn't have, you could do more than one envelope if you like. You could add one here, you could add one here, but for simplicity, because I wanted to make a lot to, to um, for Christmas, I thought I'd just keep it simple and some of them I've made without the envelope which is just as nice and there'll be signatures all stitched in the middle of them so they'll be practical sketchbooks notepads whatever whatever um, right so I'll add that to the stack oh my lordy I just I just um, Found I got this really cheap old book from a, a um, Salvation Army store actually, and it's a Christmas diary 1994 that a lady had, and she only went out for dinner twice <laughs> in the diary, <laughs> and it's all about Australia, and it's absolutely fascinating. So I've been down a rabbit hole this morning. I pulled this book apart. Well, that wasn't hard because it was falling to bits. And it's got so many poems and wonderful um, wonderful hints. How to keep insects from bird cages. Insects may be kept from bird cages by hanging a small bag of sulfur inside them. This will not harm the birds, but will keep away the vermin that collects unless great care is exercised. I wonder what modern day vets would think of that. Tell you what, there's so many things that we now realise or might be poisonous. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I digress. Now, where, which one did that come out of? I think that that has to be stitched in there. This was another little project I did um, a long time ago and put it in my ephemera stash. But by goodness, it's so good to have them in your stash because when you come to make journals, you grab them and just put them in the middle. And then all you've got to do is add some pages and voila, you've, you've, got, a, you've got a nice journal. Okay, so I'll better put this up. Kangaroo mince pies. Wow. Actually, there was a really funny one. Oh, I laughed, I laughed, I laughed out loud. It was how to, how to cook a kangaroo, uh, no, how to cook a cockatoo. Yeah. And it was hilarious. It was basically, it was obviously the Australian sense of, oh, here it is. How to, how to cook a cockatoo. First, catch your cockatoo. Pluck and gut it and place it in a pot of water with two stones. Boil steadily. When the stones are soft, <laughs> the cockatoo is ready to serve. 
So I'm guessing I'm guessing that means that cockatoos are really tough. Just which is lucky because I don't eat cockatoos. <laughs> so see you go in, you go down these rabbit holes, don't you? Anyway, I digress. So these are a couple that I have. Actually, I wanted to share something great um, that I discovered when I when I make my um, tags. I use recycled um, boxes, such as this one, for example. The card that that cardboard is actually a bit stiffer than I like, but my goodness, I have recycled so much; it's been fantastic. And mass making, I've never really mass made anything before. And I'm in two minds whether I like it or I don't like it. But what I did for, the, for all the journal cards, because each of these has one, two, three, and then the two larger ones to go in the outside pockets. So that's five per little folder. So I think I've made, oh, I think I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've made 13 of, of these, a baker's dozen, 13 of those. And it gets really tedious. So what I did was I always like to line my journaling cards on the back with some kind of paper. Now, I have run out of my parchment paper. So I've used a really nice yellowy creamy photocopy paper and I thought to back them all how many I've all cut them to size I worked out all the sides up sizes I needed I don't know what that is I better not show it um, and there's Kleenex t tissue boxes and everything and I fit fit them all onto the A4 page and I glued them down I glue them down on the underside where there's no writing because if I was to glue them down, see that you can see some stuff coming through that. It's just easier to glue them on the underside. And and then put them under something heavy. And so then I had all these marvellous sheets waiting for me. Almost like our collage uh, sheets that we do on A4. Tell you what, they've proved to be so invaluable. It saved so much time. It only took me probably an hour to do it. And I counted up uh, how many I needed. And on this page, um, if they're all the right sizes on that page, then the papers are all going to match. And and then I can just cut them out and stitch around them on the machine. So that was a really good thing I discovered to do that saved me a lot of time. Um, so... Right, so I'll just take one. Now, this one I've done with this beautiful grungy old roses kit. Oh dear, it's really nice. So I've got a big one here, fits the pocket. Of, that's a good way to make sure it's lined, ready to go. All I have to do is put pretty papers and collage it up. So I can take that out and take that out. Um, I think I took those out, didn't I, while I was talking. Right. That's right. Make sure they all fit. Yep, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Now I can choose my papers. This one, oh, that's the journaling card. I'll put that one back. Um, yeah. Now, yes, so predominantly pinks, very feminine and gorgeous. I got these lovely images the other day and I thought, oh, they might make interesting tags. I printed that off in black and white too. Not quite sure what I could do now with that, but really interesting. The, <laughs> the biggest thing, time consuming, but I love it, is choosing the papers. And that's really lovely. And I've got so many papers I mix and I match. I never do a journal using all the same papers because that's really boring. And I like to collage. 
and I used got to you add letters and numbers and lace and so in the midst now I'm crackling on oh, I'll just answer this from my sister hello Karen hello. I'm in the middle of videoing so um, I'm no no you're right you're on camera say hi <laughs> This is my crafting sister in the background there. She's just going to sit there quietly and listen to me waffle on. She's my biggest hero. I'll be I'll be with you in a minute, sis. We um we Skype all day. So we're just doing tags at the minute and deciding what papers to use. Okay. So because it's pink and feminine and I've also I've collaged these tiny little old ladies that look like oh, they look really really old like King Louis era so I thought well I can't really mix errors so I'll stick to that and or if I want to go away with that I think I'll just mix in some I've got these gorgeous steampunk uh, backgrounds that are gold and green and they are grungy and they bring it back down to earth and it's got the gold in it too, which is really cool. So, what I will do, I might do the big ones first, I think. Are these backed? I can't tell. I don't think they are. Alrighty. So I'll just fold that up. And then let's see what kind of tags we can make, shall we? Now my ruler everything's all scattered around so I've, I've got mountains and mountains of um, papers which will be fun and I'm, I'm finally got you in in focus I've moved my camera around and organized my tripod and oh, I'm on a roll I like to tear, I, I'm like all of you, I think torn edges are so much nicer. And it gives you a bit of contact with the paper because the torn edges are, are rough. I find you get a better contact anyway. Right. Now I don't know whether I will use, because she's too wide for that. I'll have to chop her off and I like the image I like the image there in the see that's just that's just lovely as it is isn't it all right and that that beautiful frame is the green so I think I shall go with a bit of the green accents top and bottom a bit of the gold maybe some text maybe I can find some lovely ah oh, there's some lovely old writing just stamp up now it's gone all quiet again um, what I should do is read you out another recipe that was hilarious I found this old book, Karen. I took apart, and I um. And it was all Australian all the way through. It was all Australian history and and um, all all our poetry and uh, it was one. It was really fun, and I came across a recipe for how to how to cook a cockatoo. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and it said and it said. Um, 
place it, catch the cockatoo first, then put in a pot of boiling water with two stones and boil and boil and, 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 and it's ready. You know it's ready when the stones are soft. <laughs> so I'm guessing cockatoo is really tough. <laughs> Actually, actually, parrot, a parrot cooked up apparently is good. Yeah, well, I've never heard of that. I've heard of, um, I mean, Australia, uh, I mean, we're, we're such larrikins, you know, there's often uh, uh, tales of um, roadkill being taken home and eaten, you know, kangaroo or whatever, in the olden days. I'd, I don't know if anybody does it anymore, but I was watching a cooking show in England the other day, and it was a really, it was an old one, but it was that, you know that show, I forget now, they go to each other's houses, they're just ordinary people, and there'll be three of them, and they'll go uh, and cook, and cook for each other, and then there's a winner at the end, they all, they all grade each other's cooking. Um, well, anyway, one of the one of the contestants was a bit of a hippie, and she cooked roadkill, and oh, it didn't go down well. I don't think she won. <laughs> yeah, I don't know in England if badges are edible or um, I don't know. I'm going to just put a little bit of this scrolling up here. Actually, we might we might um we might do a regular thing. Karen's coming down to play on the table next week. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, I like that. I've just put some script on the top of that. And we might figure a way to um Skype you in. Well, actually Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to figure it out because then, then I'm, then I'm. They'll know, and they'll get to love you as well. Karen's very, very clever. She's um, we're like, we're like twins. We're not twins. It's five years apart, but we're like twins. And and that would be so fun. yeah, and and she loves. She's a really good crafter. The things she comes up with and that, and and we spark off each other. So that yeah. that should be good value. That should be good value if you can stand it, sis. Oh, that would be really fun. It, it will. And you'll have to mind your language. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on my best behaviour. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. I mean, neither of... Oh, just, just, that is funny. That That's funny because we, we wouldn't... We're not that kind of people, are we, Karen? We don't swear. No, of course not. <laughs> Much? I'm sure we can. We, we, uh, <laughs> just like here, I'll children who heard uh, swear words were saxophone back in school days. Something went wrong. Saxophone? Oh, was that Sister Mildred? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had, a, I had a sister, Aquinas. Do you remember? Do you remember me talking about Sister Aquinas, Karen? Oh, I don't, no, I don't think I do. She was, um, she was the lovely. Lady yeah, yeah, at Our Lady of Mercy College, back in the good old days. I loved the nuns. They were, they were, they were so much fun and really worldly women. I mean, they were, they were great for a joke, and you know, they weren't stuffy at all. <laughs> a little more challenging. <laughs> Not quite so much fun. 
Yeah, they were strict, but but fair, but on the most part. But I mean, that was toward the end. That was toward the end. I mean, I don't know if there are any real nuns teaching anymore anywhere. It's such a shame. Like, I know back in the day, you know, like you went, you when you were taught by the nuns, you they were always they were always saying, now, you know, you can you can become a nun, you know, consider it. I did consider it for a while, and now I wish I had been. <laughs> it it would have been. <laughs> Probably could have retired now on a nice. I don't know if they have a little pension. They used to look after each other. And uh, oh, they'd have to have crafting nuns. Yeah, actually, actually, I remember Sister Francine. Now that name, I haven't thought of that name in years. And she did the most beautiful writing, and she'd make these lovely little, lovely little things to give to you at the end of term and. She'd have a like a little hand painted, uh, simple little flower on a card with your name and beautiful script writing. And I thought, oh, you know, I remember that. That was fun. So yeah, I reckon. What would they have done with their hours other than praying? I mean, they they used to do beautiful needlework. Yeah, yeah, and and I guess if you have all that time, just imagine what wonderful crafters it'd be if we could craft twenty four seven, Karen. referring to our um we had a we have a facebook group called the redemption sisters oh is it, it's not really a group is it no that's just what we called ourselves we decided to well actually i decided first to start up a little business of buying a something cheap furniture because we love furniture painting and i was just going to buy one bit at a time for really cheap and then paint it up beautifully and then sell it on which I did and I said to Karen I thought Karen I thought Karen needed a distraction and I said to her do you want to do you want to do this with me and she's like yeah and we live in different cities so um, Karen had all that playground of Ballina and, Le and Lennox I oh, see now look at that oh. Art glitter glue is so unforgiving. I keep putting everything crooked. Oh, it's so clean. I know you can't. You can't. You just can't. So then you no, create a mistake, and then you've got to fix it. It is really hot. It is. Real. I've got the air conditioning on. Thank goodness we got a air conditioning in my in the studio. What about three, two months ago? It, last year I suffered. I had to take out anything I wanted to do. I had to take it out of this room and and sit in the front of the air conditioner of a night or or of a day for that matter. It was thirty five yeah. degrees last like this time last year and bushfires and oh lordy. Anyway, I digress. So I, I don't know what what does everybody think? I think that just that just looks old, right? It's crooked. It's been through the wars. It, it's adding to the vintage vibe. I think I'll think on that later because I can always do something. I don't know. Never mind. Oh, thank you, sis. That's how it is. Does that look silly? I'm showing it. I'm showing oh, it. No, that's beautiful. I'm showing I it. Love 
It's the bottom. Yeah, it's the image. It's the bottom that's all yucky. Well, that could be... Oh, I'll just add another piece of script over the top. Yeah. Oh. Good thinking, 99. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all fun. And who who was the one? Was it Pam that says it's only paper? Yeah. I think it's Pam from the Paper Outpost says all the time it's only paper. Don't don't be too don't be too upset. And that's that's true. But it's also artwork because at the end of the day. You do, you do want your work to look beautiful. Yeah. And people, people, for people to say, oh, isn't that beautiful? No, it just makes you day. It does. Wow, I exactly. Wouldn't it be funny if I stuck this on crooked again? What is what is <laughs> what what is the what is the possibility of this? I really want that. I really want that end. So yeah, it's going to be individual. That's for sure. But anyway, we'll give it a go. There's probably I know with crafters, there's so many. That it's all our personalities, isn't it? I mean, if you are a stickler for perfection and doing things a certain way then that's how you'll be and then for me it's been like I don't know about for you Karen but for me it's sort of like learning to let go that there is no such thing as perfection and and it's okay to make a mess it's okay to make a mistake you're in charge you do what you want to do Exactly. Well, you know, you know, like a, in nature, there there aren't any squares. As a four-leaf clover, how lucky. <laughs> Sorry for running over you. I get so excited. I just, you know, I don't get out much. I don't see many people. And... You will have to start doing it over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, lordy, lordy. Okay, whoops, wrong way. Can I? Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay. Right. Grunge it up so much, I don't really like the white. Okay. What do you think? What do you think, sis? I'm just going to show. Oh, that looks great. That looks beautiful. Better? Yeah, I think the script actually looks better on the top. So now you want me to fix the top? Oh. <laughs> I think no. I think I shall leave it. And I'll do I'll do another one because that that is that is really nice. I don't know that that'll need too much collaging up. Sometimes you can over collage, can't you? Oh, absolutely. 
but then again then again it's like the mixed media work like every time you add another layer you go no it doesn't need it no no more and then you do it and it's like oh yes that's better Definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah, I did get a request uh, from a lovely lady who saw a postcard I'd done that was all layered up. And she said, can you please do a tutorial on how you, on how you layer, how you did this. So um, what I what I'd done differently in that compared to this is I added some really old yellow text first, and then going on the colours in the photo, which was really dark, I added some fabric and just kept increasing or decreasing the size. So the photo was say that size, and then. The fabric to match was just a little bit bigger and then that sat you could put that on another mat just like you're mounting a picture and put a mat frame around it and then maybe a bit of lace and then on your text and the more complex you have the layers going out if that makes sense the um it draws your eye and gives your eye so much more visual interest and that that's what i love about collage really really does really makes a piece and oh have you been seeing have you been following along um you know that november challenge we did on um shabby dabby doodah's facebook page karen yeah. yours was yeah. amazing yours was amazing i must say it was beautiful did you have you seen all the others like oh lordy there's so many different ones there that are so inspiring Well, that's all right. You're biased. Well, that's all right. You're biased with me. I love that. It's what I pay you for. Sorry. I thought yours was really lovely too. I'll get it in really quick. Yeah, well, thank you, dear. Let's just, yeah, let's just, let's just be our own, um, our own support team, eh? But, but everybody, everybody's work is just so amazing. I'm glad Tina um, set up that Facebook group because it's so nice and supportive. It can make your day when somebody gives a little comment or takes the time just to put a, a love heart. Or When I'm going through my feed, I always, like, I, I am appreciative of everybody's work. I, everybody is, really, aren't they? But... Yeah, I always try. I always try and leave a comment on everybody. Although that can be really hard. <laughs> but just just to hit just to hit that like button can make can make a world of difference. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> Pardon me. And I'm and I'm not following along with your advice. I've just stuck the other one, the other script, top and bottom down first let's see if I can get it straight this time ha ha oh. very good very well done Actually, to emphasize to emphasize what I was just saying a minute ago, what I might do, I won't do this one exactly the same. I will use this other beautiful image because it's printed out. I may as well, right? But just thinking, it had, he's got a green coat in the background and he's also got a bit of blue. So...
yeah I'm liking I'm liking that so I could have put that top and bottom with the script well we could add actually what we could do is add another line of that there oh that looks nice oh yeah and then cut the image down to be in the middle of that You see what I mean with the layering? It just works, doesn't it? I think we can probably safely eradicate that dude from the background. I'll keep that because you never know. That's, that's better. That's a lot narrower too, which is good. We can take off, she's sitting on some plush Plush leopard carpet with the head of the leopard. Poor leopard. Okay, let's take that off there. Okay, let's chuck that up there. So how are we going here? That looks that looks good. Does it look better that way? Just a hint of gold. Yes, yes. You see how that is in working that out now that I've turned the paper around. If I turn the paper around this way, that looks okay because she's got the gold at the top and the gold at the bottom and gold either side. That is okay. If I turn the paper this way, oh, I like that too actually. That's just a little bit more gold, isn't it? It's all a matter of, of playing with it, turning it round until you get what you like. Hmm. You're probably all screaming, no, I like it the other way. No, turn it back. Hmm, I don't like I don't like the gold up here, I don't think. And this way, this way, I kind of like this way because you've got the dark here and you've got a little bit of gold here at the top and a little bit of gold there and the flowers are there. So you've got that line of eyesight there. You see how they've got the dog and her and him behind her? So you've got that line there of eyesight and then you've got like that. And I, I that evens it up. I like that. So that's my reasoning for choosing that. And I hope it helps that nice lady who wanted to know how I laid up the tags. Um, all I need now, I could probably get some, oh, I have some, here's some lace. Let's just see what lace looks like. And where? I mean, considering that it is a tag and it's going to go into a very tight spot, lace on the side is not a good idea. If that was going in a side pocket and lace was hanging on the right side, that would be perfect. But it's a top loading tag, so maybe I'll put. Yeah, I'll probably put. I'll probably put that on the top to uh, pull it out of the. Yep, that's what I'll do. Well, that was an easy decision, wasn't it? So all we have to do now is hopefully cut the paper straight. Just lining it up with that edge there. Yeah, exactly. All right, done. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's so good. Now all I've got to do is ink it up and then glue it down. And we've got two tags done. All I've got to do is line the back and then stitch around. I know there's probably a lot of people out there that don't like stitching or don't have a machine. But if you can manage to ever get one, you won't believe 
the texture it makes it really puts that just that extra texture that extra I mean of course you can glue stuff down and you can also um you know do the fake get a texture and do fake stitches really neatly around you could do that but it's not the same in my opinion if you can big borrow with steel I don't know especially when sewing machines are so cheap these days now which way did I have the paper don't mess that up it was that way wasn't it because that would be my yeah that was that way thankfully right so I'm going to use I'm going to use my art glitter glue because it's my favorite even though it's expensive it's lovely I've been using Fabri-Tac for all these miles of journals and then just saving my art glitter glue for the special tough jobs but it's wet uh, any wet glue on on paper can sometimes make lumps and bumps but the trick of this one is getting it on straight how can I do it it's really nervous nerve-wracking sometimes you got to be really brave when you craft I tell you But then, same with furniture painting. Oh, lordy. Okay. And once this is inked up, you don't have to re ink the pad. It's getting a bit dry by the look of it. It's like using ink around the edges of everything if you didn't use ink any kind of finished product that's why we put frames around things that's why a lot of artists always use um, charcoal pencils or whatever stabilos once you put that edging around it elevates everything it draws the eye in to see everything within that frame I think okay it doesn't matter that that's crinkly it looks it looks even better when it's crinkled oh now goodness me look at those two side by side see the difference in that layering oh I like it I like it I like it We say we're loving it sick, don't we, Karen? Yeah. Us usually we'll be doing projects together, Skyping, and um, Karen will say, oh, let's do this project. And I'll say, oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. It's usually me. And I go, yeah, all right. And then halfway through, you know, like, oh, I don't like this. This is, this is I don't like this at all. I'm not enjoying this. And then it'll come together and I'll be like, oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving it sick. This is, this is great. What I thought was a disaster turns out to be a wonderful success. Yeah. You're, it's like your mind and your, your subconscious and that, they, it seems... They, they knows the right way anyway if you oh, now look at that and look at the difference in that that is incredible have a look at this sis oh that's beautiful isn't that that's really lovely what a difference to that one which yeah. is which is nice it makes, yeah it just elevates it doesn't it yeah. oh that's lovely okay well I'm gonna say goodbye for now um, 
because we've had so much fun and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like and su subscribe button, please. And I'll see you next time in the studio. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye for now. See ya.